Hi, Georgie. It's me, Honey Lies the Clown. I'm joking, it's my... <laughs> Soon that all stream. We're turning into Funny Lies today. I've done this look before in the past, as you can see in the right-hand side. I have a look that I did previously. Today's look is inspired by um, Sally Quinn, Insomniac Dreams, and Peachat. I'll put all of their links in the description down below. I'm taking reference from different parts of the look. Sally's kind of like this under part, Insomniac Dreams is the collar, and then Peachat is the top area. It's kind of how the inspo went. So I started out with just putting um, Major Looks body paint in Yeti just on the bottom area where I'm doing it in sections so I don't get lost. And then I'm taking a black eyeshadow from ColourPop. I just realized I didn't put, tag them in my Instagram post. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm using a black from ColourPop. <laughs> I use a lot of ColourPop. I should, I should go back and talk about it. I'll fix that. That's a totally stand up. I'm using black and gray from ColourPop to um, do the shadow here. And I'm basically just gonna Kind of do a shadow where everything is and then kind of making these like roughly type things i don't know what it's called park park it park jet type thing just like all across the body rutches no not rutches that's not a word is that a word well it's not the right word ripples rumples 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 that's what we're looking for rumples <laughs> throughout the entire bo body area here and I'm just doing some like more defined lines as well so it's kind of like a mixture of the two and then taking cherry from col not color pop, this is all major look and then making an outline where like the pom pom is that's on his shirt and then going back with more yeti to do the kind of bottom area of the ruffles and I was trying to do it in sections so I wouldn't get lost in the body paint when I was doing each of the ruffle areas and even though I did it in sections, I got lost in these ruffles so many times. Like, I don't know how I could have done it any different. It was really, like, I th I'm pretty, I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is like my first time doing ruffles. But I, and I do like how they turned out. I, I just, I feel like I could have done them a little better <laughs> so they had a little bit more dimension weren't as flat but I still really liked how this look turned out so yeah as I said I'm using grays and blacks and I'm just doing it in parts of like if it's going down I'm doing the shadows going inwards if it's going up I'm doing a little like U shape at the very bottom and then giving a little bit of um shadows inside but trying to keep most of it still that white tone so that way it still stands out in comparison to the rest. And then I'm just, as I said, I'm just gonna go through all of it and do so many ruffles. Just ruffles on ruffles on ruffles. If you think you have enough ruffles, you don't. Add more ruffles. <laughs> think you have enough shadings? No. More. <laughs> That's basically all I can really give you as like a guide. It's just gray in the inner part and then just ruffle it. Ruffle it? Is that, a, is that a verb? I don't know. It is now. And I'm just taking white liquid liner like I normally do for highlights. Just on the top parts of every single ruffle. <laughs> and Zombie Act um, Dream had a, um, a red line on hers. I feel like that may have, would have helped me a little bit more, but I didn't think it went well enough with the version of Pennywise I went which is why I skipped that and then as I said I'm just going back in and doing more ruffles in sections so it's the same as the bottom just doing another layer but this time this one kind of goes to like a center area and this was kind of more leaning towards um no this was still from Insomniac Dreams Insomniac has like a red ribbon in there but I don't have that that's just I don't know I'll put the links in the description, but just doing all the ruffles, same as I did bottom, but just instead of adding any black, I'm only using gray on this. So that way it's a little bit lighter than underneath. So it kind of stands out as this is like a top ruffle and the other one's a bottom ruffle. But I'm using the same technique that I did on the bottom as I do on the top. 
I lost my phone and my music for a moment there. Not that anyone in here can hear it, but chat can hear it and stream either. As this is all been this was all streamed. But then once I did this, then I went and did the top ruffles, which is I 99.9% sure I did this right, but I might not have. And I couldn't turn my neck very far because otherwise I would have smeared the entire thing and I didn't want to do that. So just adding the gray that was in the top up on the bottom up top and we're using all gray on this and then I'm just doing gray in the center area where like it goes in but we're not doing like the curved thing because you wouldn't see that based off of the perspective and then just doing a little bit of highlighting so then next we're going into our sleeves so I'm trying to trying to emulate his very puffy sleeves on his skin <laughs> And my skin is different shaped and not as poofy <laughs> as the sleeves. So like I'm trying to emulate it by taking away skin. And I'm gonna be when I take the pictures, it's gonna be against a black background. So you're not going to see like my actual skin, but also like in the pictures, because I didn't I took it kind of closer, close off. You're not gonna see the sleeves anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But if you were going to do this and trying to have the illusion that there was puff sleeves, I put the black on like where you see my arm, so that way you can't see my arm. And I did that on the ruffles and everything too. I brought that in further in from like where you're gonna see it from the camera's perspective. So that way it looks like it's that 3D that you're looking for. You can kind of see it in here. And then I'm just doing some white um, highlights as I, as I do everywhere. But that that's the that's what I'm trying to emulate is the puff sleeves. Did I achieve it? Maybe. Can you see it in the pictures? No, not really. Not really at all. But you know what? That's okay. <laughs> I really like how this turned out regardless. Even if you can't see it in the pictures. I know it's there and I'm happy with myself <laughs> over how this looked. And then just finishing up on that and then just blending and smudging out the shadows. And then we're going back into our palm and using some white liner and then just putting a red shadow over top of the bottom and kind of the top so it kind of goes in. And now we're going into the actual Pennywise part. So I'm putting more Yeti. Surprise, surprise. Just everywhere. So as you can see on the picture on the right, that's what I'm doing. So there's section like a section near my eye that doesn't have body paint on it. So I was trying very hard not to cover that up by mistake. Same with the, any part that's red, my teeth, my nose, all of that. I didn't want getting um, white in it because it's body, no body activated, water, water activated body paint. So if I put another color over top of it, it's going to bleed through, so I didn't want it turning pink. So I kind of left those areas blank. But jumping over to my teeth, now I'm using the color Bone Tone by Made You Look to create my little, my little teeth. This is the part in my original body paint when I did this was my least favorite. Like I hated the teeth in that one, and every time I looked at it, I'm like, I love every other element but the teeth. So I'm really happy the teeth are fixed. Um, the Melanie color I used is from uh, Mayron. It's in their tropical palette. I don't know what the actual melon color is. And then I'm just going to use a black um, liquid liner from NYX. It's the Epic Ink Liner. It's the one I always use constantly. It's like the only liner I've used for like years. And I don't think any I will switch anytime soon. It's the best felt tip liner I've ever used. And I just, I love it. So I'm just using that to fill in the gaps in the teeth so I didn't want to have any any problems there. And then I did my brow. And now I'm going in with like kind of a, a brown taupe color just to give the teeth some dimension. And then I'm using some black on the inside just to kind of separate the gums a bit from the teeth as well as the lips from the teeth. Or from the gums. The lips from the gums. That's what I meant. And then I'm just going to do a little bit more gray and black shadows 
where the ruffles separate from my actual face because we don't want that to look like they're blended together they're supposed to be separate and then i'm taking cherry there's still some black on my brush so it makes it look darker but it's just cherry from AJ look and i've been putting that in all of the pennywise spaces and for the blood tear that kind of goes with his lips as well so it looks like it's still connected even though it's not so yeah and then at that point i did a kind of a pinky taupe mauve color to do um some separation from pennywise face from my face for in that eye slot area and then taking like a kind of a purpley color to deepen it further and then taking the NYX Epic Ink Liner to outline that area like I did in the original and then we're adding some like cracks even further because it's supposed to be like it's been ripped out of the face and I was texting my mom there to see she wanted to have a lot of reaction. She didn't. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> and I'm just giving myself a quick uh, smoky eye here on my right eye and then I'm doing my contour with gray liner just to separate things out from that and then I was switching up how my face was so just really deepening and shadowing underneath not that you can really see it but it just helps give that dimension down below if you do that and then I was adding some more depth everywhere putting the same color that I have around my eyes in the lower lash lines that way that matches Deepening up the gums a little bit, and then I'm going to add a little bit more black in places. Oh, nope. First, I'm adding some highlights, which I'm going to cover in red body paint. Not body paint. I'm going to cover that in red eyeshadows, like I normally do. <laughs> I just, I like having the, sh the highlight. I just, some in some areas, I just don't want it as bright as white. It just, it's, it's weird in my opinion in some places so yeah now I'm adding the black in as I said just to deepen up a little bit further adding a few more rumples I uh, some tear stains there near um, the other eyes more black just to make it more depth um, and yeah it's pretty much everything I'm just adding some quick white highlights around the crack area in my face just double checking some little touches and then I'm going to be adding blood. It's fake blood, it's it's splatter paint from Mehron. And then at that point, I'm just cleaning up anything that I didn't want the blood on, like the teeth, I didn't want that on there. And then putting on a quick pair of lashes. Took me a hot minute to find my lash glue. It wasn't even normal lash glue, it's a different lash glue. I don't know where lash glue is, but that's okay. This is, um, Arizo's Cosmetic on um, Hollywood Lashes, in case anyone is wondering. And that is the final look, basically. Hope you guys are all having a good day, week so far. Hope you have a great Halloween. I love you, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!